Elsewhere, a father has been reunited with his 14-year-old son who was kidnapped at their family home in Georgia Town on Monday. The boy who was ambushed by five men had been brought to Nairobi's Dandora Estate, where the alleged kidnappers demanded for three million shillings from the boy's father. Their plans were, however, foiled when police caught up with them with a little help from the kidnapped boy. Timothy Otieno with that story. At the Mungai family home, a father is relieved after his 14-year-old son Matthew returned home after a kidnapping incident which occurred Monday evening. The boy was returning home from school and found five heavily set men at the gate. According to the boy, the men lied to him that his father was waiting for him at a restaurant in Nairobi and that he had sent them to pick him up. According to him, they went up to Parklands because he could see he could read the, you know, some signboards and from there they exchanged the driver, they exchanged everything and uh, you know some people also entered and from there I think he was uh, blindfolded because the next thing he saw is some signs in the door. The family spent Monday night searching for young Matthew. It was shock, you know he's the only brother I have. So, and he's my baby brother so I mean it's expected to, to because now I can imagine how his state is if, if, if he's been hurt, if he's being treated nicely. We received a call, and the person calling asked me, how are you, Mr. Jeroge? Do you have your son? Is your son home? And then I told him, no. Are you looking for him? Of course, I told him, yes. Have you gone to police station? I told him, I've not gone. So he told me, don't try. Don't go, don't, don't try. So I have your son here with me and I want three million. They reported the matter to the Ruiru police post. Immediately we received the report uh, with the new technology. We managed to trail, to trail them. The police arrested suspects to the crime who were lured into a trap Tuesday evening. The vehicle they were in has been impounded by the police. Timothy Otieno, KTN.